Alright, Reading Rainbow, Episode 10, The Gift of the Sacred Dog. The people were hungry. They had walked many days looking for the buffalo herds. Each day, they hoped to see the buffalo over the next ridge, but they were not to be found in that part of the country. Even the buzzards and crows circled looking for something to eat, and the wolves called out with hunger at night. The people wandered on until they were too tired and hungry to go any farther, and the dogs could no longer be urged to drag their heavy loads. The wise men said that they must dance to bring back their relatives, the buffalo. Every man who had dreamed of the buffalo joined in the dance. The buffalo would surely know the people needed them. Young men went out searching in all directions, but they did not see any buffalo herds. There was a boy in the camp who was sad to hear his little brothers and sisters crying with hunger. He saw his mother and father eat nothing so that the children could have what little food there was. He told his parents, I am sad to see everyone suffering. The dogs are hungry too. I'm going up the, into the hills to ask the Great Spirit to help us. Do not worry about me. I shall return in the morning. He left the circle of Tiphys and walked toward the hills. He climbed higher and higher. The air was cool and smelled fresh with pine trees. He reached the top of the highest hill as the sun was setting. He raised his arms and spoke, Great Spirit, my people need your help. We follow the buffalo herds because you gave them to us. But we cannot find them and, and we can walk no further. We are hungry. My little brothers and sisters are crying. Great Spirit, we need your help. As he stood there on the hilltop, gray clouds closed across the sky. Wind and hill came with sudden force, and behind them, thunderbirds swooped among the clouds. Lightning darted from their flashing eyes, and thunder rumbled when they flapped their enormous wings. He felt afraid and wondered if the Great Spirit had answered him. The clouds parted. Someone came riding toward the boy on the back of a beautiful animal. There was thunder in its nostrils and lightning in its legs. Its eyes shone like stars, and hair on its neck and tail trailed like clouds. The boy had never seen any animal so magnificent, the writer spoke. I know your people are in need. They will receive this. He is called Sacred Dog, because he can do many things your dogs can do, and also more. He will carry you far and will run faster than the buffalo. He comes from the sky. He is as the wind, gentle but sometimes frightening. Look after him always. The clouds closed, and the rider was not there. Suddenly the sky was filled with sacred dogs of all colors, and the boy could never count their number. Their galloping was like the wind, and the drumming of their hoof beats shook the hilltop on which he stood. They, they circled round and round, and he did not know if he was standing or falling. He did not remember going to sleep. But he awoke as the sun was rising. He knew it was something wonderful he had seen in the sky. He started down the hill back home again to ask the wise men what it meant. They would be able to tell him. The morning and everything around him was beautiful and good. When the boy had reached the level plain, he heard a sound like faraway thunder coming from the hill behind. Looking back, he saw sacred dogs pouring out of a cave and coming down a ravine toward him. They were, from, they were of all colors, just as he had seen in the sky, galloping down the slopes, neighing and kicking up their back legs with excitement. The leading ones stopped when they, were, when they were a short distance away. They stamped their feet and snorted, but their eyes were gentle too, like those of the deer. The boy knew they were what he had been promised on the hilltop. 
He turned and continued walking toward the camp, and all the sacred dogs followed him. The people were excited, and came out from the camp circle when they saw the boy returning with so many strange and beautiful animals. He told them, These are sacred dogs. They are a gift from the Great Spirit. They will help us to follow the buffalo, and they will carry the hunters into the running herds. Now there will always be enough to eat. We must look after them well, and they will be happy to live with us. Life was good after that. The people lived as relatives with the sacred dogs, together with the buffalo and all other living things, as the Great Spirit wished them to live. When the people passed the place where they had hunted the buffalo, they would gather up the bleached skulls in a circle and face them toward the sun. Let us thank the spirits of the buffalo who died so that we could eat. The